everyone. So for our grammar today, we are thinking about some speech that we could add into our story. So the manor house was a really good story, but it didn't have any speech in it. So your first job today is to write down in your book as many different ways to say said, because said is a really boring word. So have a think and pause the video, write down as many different ways that we could say said. Okay, when you've done that, I've got some speech here. What was that? James, and I've got a gap. I've gone for James whispered, because I think if he was in a scary situation, he'd say, what was that? And he'd whisper it because he doesn't want whatever it is to hear him. Okay, we've done a bit of work on speech before in class. So, remember, only the words that are spoken go inside the inverted commas. So, the words that James actually says out loud are, what was that? Okay, remember, there must be a capital letter at the start of your speech. And there must be some other punctuation inside the inverted commas. So James is asking a question here. He's asking what was it that made the sound? So I've got a question mark. And they need to go inside the inverted commas. Okay. Your job today is going to be adding the correct punctuation to these three sentences. Okay. Each one has got some speech inside it. Each one is missing capital letters, both in the speech and for somebody's name. And you will need to add in the other punctuation that goes inside the inverted commas. Okay, have a really good go at doing that today. Some of these sentences you might be able to adapt and use in your story. So if you work really hard now, you'll be able to copy it into your story in your books.